Hello everyone. I have two tips for you today for those of you who make dioramas or do train layouts. Now, a lot of people keep asking, what can you use to put your artificial grass, artificial dirt and everything like that on their dioramas and on their train layouts? I've got a great tip for you. It, one, if you get the dried herbs and spices from the grocery store, once you empty those little bottles out, most of them will have this little shaker thing on top. So these little bottles, once you wash them out, are perfect for putting your artificial grass, artificial turf, artificial dirt even small little pebbles, small little rocks. Okay, now most, a lot of them have different sizes of these little shaker things. So you put your stuff in these little jars and you can just shake the whatever you're using on your layout or on your diorama in the precise area you want. So, great tip. And this is also a repurposing thing too. So you're also helping the environment by reusing your little spice jars. Now, you can use the plastic ones, or you can use the glass ones too. Because the glass ones always have these little shaker things in them. So, that's pro tip number one for those of us who make dioramas and train layouts. Now, the second tip I have for you is... If you're looking for a different way of making mountains or caves or tunnels, here's another pro tip for you. If you buy large appliances or even small appliances, some of them will come with these really weird looking um, hard cardboard like trays. So with that, you can take those little things because they have such weird, I'm talking like this, these things here will come into in those large packages or small packages. And as you can see, they have different, um, unique little inside. Okay, and you can, t and if you turn them over like this, you can see that they have mountain like texture, they even have mountain like you know layouts. So you can use these, cut them up, and use them on your train layouts in your dioramas to make your mountains or your tunnels or your little caves. You just have to cut them to the way you need them. They're real easy to cut with a um, X-Acto knife. As a matter of fact, I have one that I am preparing to use for a new diorama that I'm going to do. I already have it all prepped. I just have to get the diorama started. Hold on one second. Let me move these out of the way. Now this is one that came in the uh, box with our brand new stove that we bought. This was a unique little section of it. I have cut this area out so that um, when I go to put this on my diorama this is going to be like a little pond or a little pool area i'm going to do all kinds of little decorative stuff on it i'm going to cut out openings for doors windows but you know this is pretty much a great thing for doing a humongous you know cave i mean i probably could chop it down a little bit more but this is kind of like what I'm looking to do for my next diorama. But 
like I said, don't throw these things away. Repurpose them in your train layouts or your dioramas. These are perfect for mountains, caves, tunnels, whatever you need. And as you can see, they do have like a mountain type texture already. But what you can do is put a layer of um, cement on there, just a thin layer of cement to cover that. And that'll, you know, bring out the texture a little bit more. You could also use um, plaster Paris on this. Um, you can even paint it first and then do, you know, like grass and all kinds of, you know, add extra texture, trees and whatever you want to do with that for whatever diorama or layout you're doing for your trains. So there you go, guys and gals two pro tips for you so if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe press that notification button um, like the video share the video and also join us on tiktok at soul zelda we do these videos there too and also on tiktok I do live videos, so you could always ask me questions there. So, hope you like this video, and we'll see you in the next one.